Hello, sweet soon. Welcome back again to my channel. This is Lady B Kitchen. How is my lovely friends doing today? I hope you guys are doing good. Today, guys, I'm super, super, super excited to be sharing with us another Ogonga way of making Nigeria meat pie. If you are a meat pie seller or you are a fan of meat pie, you like to eat meat pie a lot, trust me, this is the right video for you to watch. On this video, I will be sharing with you how you can make your meat pie with few ingredients. Your meat pie is ready, both for eat and both for sale. So that is what you have been looking up to today. Sit down, take your popcorn and cross your leg. Let's get started. So let's see the few ingredients that we'll be needing on this video. Brown sugar, nutmeg, baking powder, Salt to taste, butter, all purpose flour, eggs, beef. So, here is the beef that I will be using for the filling. Here, I have the seasoning that I will be using, I have uh, vegetables hot pepper, onions and the red bell pepper, mangi cube and black pepper. So this is all the ingredients that I'll be using for the fillings. So now it's time to mix the dough. So here I have my mixing bowl. I will pour all the flour inside this mixing bowl. After adding all the flour, so next is to add in the dry ingredient. Now I add in the nutmeg, little bit of salt, I add in the brown sugar, then I will add in the baking powder. Now it's time to stir everything together, so I will stir until every ingredient gets combined. missing all the ingredients so now it's time to add in the butter so here I have the butter I will be adding it little by little Now I'm done adding all the butter so it's time for me to mix so I have to mix this both together until everything gets combined so this will be taking me 2 to 3 minutes so I have to mix this before adding any other ingredient. After giving it a nice mix this is the final look you see how different this look. So now it's ready, so it's time for me to add in the eggs. Adding the egg, I'm going to leave one of it aside because I'll be using this to spread the body as in rub the body of the dough after mixing it. So before I bake, so I have to use the egg to rub the body of the dough. So that is why I left one of it aside. This step is still very important, so I have to give this a very very good mix. I have to mix this about 2 to 3 minutes extra before the dough get combined so when i'm missing i notice that the dough is too soft so i really need to add a little bit of flour so this is how it looks the thing is soft on my hand so i have to add a little bit of uh, flour then miss it again about two to three minutes so that everything will get combined After missing this is how it look now it's strong and it's ready so now I really like it and it's ready for now so all I will do is to cover the dough to rest for 15 to 20 minutes before I will bring it out for the final use so now I will just cover and keep it outside Now it's time to slice in the veggies. So I will be slicing the pepper and the red bell pepper and the onions. 
so guys i really like the outcome of this sauce i really like the outcome this pepper that i use all this uh, red bean pepper and the uh, green pepper pepper i use i really like the outcome because most time we what we always use to do our filling is uh, carrot and the uh, potato so me i don't really like potato and carrot inside my meat pie filling so that is why i did not make use of it on this video so i said let me try making yeah, making use of this pepper and then um, trust me it comes out so so delicious and so so nice so now i'm done uh, slicing everything so i will keep it aside then uh, slicing the onion so after slicing the onion so everything will be ready so i'll just slice the onion just a little quantity like this so that is it after slicing it i'll just keep it aside the same bowl that i put the peppers so i'll just keep the onions the same bowl then yeah it's ready so now it's time to fry the beef so here i have my frying pan so i'll be making use of butter instead of oil you can also use oil if you don't want to use butter trust me i like this sauce a lot everything about this sauce sweets me so much guys i really like everything i use making this sauce so using this butter still give it a very very good taste so now the butter is met i will add in the beef i will add in everything then stir until everything gets combined Now it's time to add in the seasoning cubes. I will be making use of black pepper. I have my monkey cube and salt to taste. After that, I will add in the veggies. So I will pour in the onions and the pepper sauce. Now I will just stir everything together. So these are everything that I will be adding on this sauce. Trust me, this is the best way to make your sauce, guys. Just try this method and thank me later. So for you to thicken your sauce, you have to add a little bit of corn flour so here i have my corn flour already mixed so i will pour it inside then stir everything together so that is it guys this sauce is ready and it's ready to make use of this is the final look of this sauce just look at this sauce guys just take a good look at this sauce just too simple and easy way you can make your sauce and it's very very delicious and trust me it looks so so and tastes so so delicious so let's go to the next level now the dough is ready before bringing the dough out i will add a little bit of flour so then i will bring out the dough so here is the dough I'll just give it a two minutes uh, miss again before i will make use of it after that now it's time for me to divide the dough so i will divide the dough in a seven equal size so now i will take one of it give it a little bit of mist before i will use my roller to roll it while doing this guys you don't have to let the dough to be too much flat because if it's too much flat the what they call it the filling will be showing and will be coming out so you don't need that so you still have to let the thing to have a little quality that uh, of thick so you still have to thick in a little bit so now it's ready so this is the quantity i'll be rolling and the uh, so here is the remaining egg that i leave earlier so now i will just step the, the egg together so give it a very very good step so before i will be making use of it so now i'll just keep it aside so next is for me to cut the dough so while cutting this you have to look the shape that you really want if you don't want it to be that big because me i don't really like that much big meat pie when you'll be eating it you just get tired that you are eating one meat pie so i don't really like that so that's why i just like this 
quality that I'm using a big quantity so now I will just add in the filling and then then cover so it's ready before covering I have to first of all use this egg that I mix to rub all over the body of the dough before I will cover the dough Just simple like this, the dough is covered. So just like this, I cover. After that, I will just use my hand to see the, the edges of the dough. So before I will use my fake to see it's fine now. Just like this, it's ready. And this is how I will do the rest. I will just use my fake to see the mat like this. So after that, I will keep on this process while making the rest of it so this is how i will make the remaining ones so just like this is ready and then i will just keep it in my pan my oven pan so here is my oven pan then i will keep it and then keep it outside after doing all of it so this is the final look and everything is ready so now i will use the remaining egg to rub the body of the dough before i will be baking the dough on this process, you can as well use raw milk, you can as well to rub the body of your dough. So me, I'm making use of egg, I prefer egg. So now I will be baking this for 25 minutes and then after 25 minutes, our meat pie is ready. Take a good look at this meat pie guy. Just look at this meat pie. Look at it, my people. The meat pie is ready and is calling you to come and take a test, my people. He says she come and test it because I am testing yummy yummy. That is what the meat pie is saying. No, I'm not the one saying it. The meat pie is saying I'm testing yummy yummy yummy. So my people, this is all about this video. If you really enjoy, don't forget to support your sister by subscribing, by sharing this video. I will really really appreciate you. Subscribe to my channel, share my video, follow my Facebook page, my YouTube channel and my Instagram. See you all in my next one. Bye bye.